Walker and I am on the Community Life Planning Team and I am here to give you some adult orientation tips for your stay here in Detroit. First and foremost, welcome to Detroit! We are so glad you're here and we are so glad that you came and are accompanying your young people on this journey. Tip number one, go to your cell phone and download the ELCA Gathering Guidebook app. You can find that on Android and Google Play or on iTunes. Download it because it will give you all the information that you need right at the palm of your hands. Tip number two, know where you're going. Behind me is Kobo Center. That's where you're gonna be dropped off every morning. And in Kobo Center, we have Rise Up Detroit, our early morning program, along with morning worship that starts at 8 a.m. We hope that you will join us for morning worship and for Rise Up Detroit. Also, you'll find information booths in the Kobo Center, as well as Community Life Team activities. Community Life Team activities open at 8 a.m., so please come and join us. Continuing with tip number two for know where you're going, we have Har Plaza, which is right behind me. That's where you launch for your Practice Justice Day. So check your times on your final confirmation sheet and it will tell you what time you need to be at Hart Plaza. You'll be dropped off at Cobo Center and then you'll walk to Hart Plaza, which is not a very far walk at all. Continuing with tip number two, know where you're going. Behind me is the GM Renaissance Center where you'll find most of your community life events in the afternoon, starting about 4.30. We hope you can join us there for the dance Are you hungry? Because if you are, we got food for you. There's food in so many different places in and around Detroit. Download Yelp, find a new and interesting restaurant. But if you want to eat with us, please do. We have food at Cobo Center. We have food at the Crown Plaza Terrace. There will be food trucks here in Hart Plaza. And there's food at the GM Renaissance Center. And Fort Field opens at 5.30 p.m. Go there, you can find food there too. Tip number four, bring a backpack. They're great for carrying things. Adults, don't forget medical release forms. Don't forget your first aid kit. And please make sure that all your kids have a water bottle in their backpack. There's water fountains around Kobo. There's water fountains around the Rensen. There's water fountains everywhere. So we can refill your water bottles really easy. So bring your backpack. Oh, hey, tip number five make sure you have your gathering wristband. The wristband gets you into everything gathering. If you don't have them, you don't get in. Make sure that when your children are putting them on that you're helping them. Two finger rule and a friend. The two fingers, help them put their gathering wristband on so it's not tight around their arms because they're not gonna be able to take them off. These wristbands are $365 if you lose one. So try not to lose it. Back to the flowers. Tip number six. This ain't your ride. However, if you pre-register for the gathering shuttle service, then you will receive a wristband that will go right beside your other wristband. Two fingers and a friend, put it on, make sure that you know what that transportation schedule is. It will be posted in the lobby of your hotel team or you can ask your community life volunteer. Thanks. Tip number seven, safety and security. Safety and security is on everyone's mind. So remember that in your guidebook that you just received or on the guidebook app that you have on your smartphone, there's a whole section dedicated to safety and security. Read it, familiarize yourself with it. It is good information. Also know, this is a vast city of Detroit. Please don't let your young people go out by themselves. Stay with them, be present with them and accompany them on this vast journey. Also know that the city of Detroit has a 10 p.m. curfew. That means that you need to be with them at all times and travel in groups of three. In group of three, you'll always be free. Tip number eight, offering. You may have brought with you some offering in way of diapers, non-perishable food items, or diaper wipes. Those you can give to your community life hotel volunteers. They will take all of those. As far as your other offerings, keep them and you will know when you need to give them away. Tip number nine, miscellaneous items. Cell phones are a really great way for you to keep in touch with your young people and for them to keep in touch with you. Also, you can use them on your Proclaim Story, Proclaim Justice, and Proclaim Community Days. They're a great way to use our hashtag, RiseUpELCA. 
It's a great way for the ELCA to know what they're doing and what you're doing on those different days. And it's a great way for them to keep up with us and up to us to keep up with them. Enjoy your stay here at the 2015 ELCA Youth Gathering. Have fun, be fluid, and be flexible, and remember the tips. But if you have questions, call the info line number on your bracelet, or you can check with the info booth here at Cobo Center. But in the end, remember that we're all here to rise up together. Don't you worry.